Are you recognizing the opportunity? Everyone is going through a difficult time right now, but I wonder, are you complaining about it? Or are you taking the time to recognize the opportunity and develop your skills and systems? One thing that we're seeing is that a lot of cleaning companies now are having the opportunity to go in and do, uh, do routine cleanings and disinfecting, you know, going through and doing touch point cleaning. So that's a great opportunity. So you should be contacting all your clients and, and asking if that's a service that they would like. Uh, some companies are still, you know, operating. Uh, they still have some employees coming into their business. So, you know, this would be a good time for you to, to ask about, you know, uh, disinfecting touch points. Now, some others, what they're doing is they're actually going in and doing some project work, uh, you know, because uh, the office is either empty or uh, with a reduced staff, it gives them a good opportunity to go in and do a, a deep cleaning for the carpets, uh, stripping and waxing floors, and a lot of things like that. So think about those opportunities that you have that exist now. Um, you know, something else that you will probably want to do is that think about a plan to reopen and rebuild. Now the coronavirus is, has affected everybody, all the cleaning companies, both residential and commercial, but even more so the residential industry. Um, you know, many commercial cleaners are either still uh, about 90% um, you know, there's others that a little less, but like I say, they're doing much better than the residential uh, industry. The residential folks, you know, there's many of them that have just shut down their businesses because, uh, you know, they're, they uh, can't go in and clean, clean homes. Um, you know, and that's pretty, that's pretty tough. So, you know, the same advice goes for, for the residential folks too though, is now is the time that you want to think about your opportunities and you want to think about these uh, plans to reopen and rebuild. So, you know, take the time to do that. And uh, once you have your plan together, share it with your employees and share it with your clients. Uh, especially when you decide to when to reopen. Because as soon as we get that green light to, to go ahead and go back to work, you know, we have to have a plan as to how we're going to implement this. So keep that in mind. Just take a you know take a half hour and write down some notes and create a create a plan that uh, that will work for reopening and rebuilding your business. Now something else that uh, people are re realizing is that because of this uh, coronavirus that they're they're lacking systems. Uh, they didn't have some systems in place that they should have had. So you know evaluate that. Which systems were you are you lacking? And now is the time to go ahead and work on those systems. Now something else that you can do is uh, go ahead and document the challenges that you've had throughout this, this horror ordeal. And what it will do is that by documenting, it, uh, documenting the challenges, you'll be able to go ahead and also write down how you overcame them. So, you know, that way when the next time a virus hits, we're going to be able to go back and have, obviously our systems will be in place, we'll be better prepared and so on and so forth. But those are some things you want to do. You know, don't sit around and complain about how bad things are. You know, keep a positive attitude. Think about the opportunities and, uh, you know, where you're going to take your business next. So, uh, you know, something that you can find uh, on the janitorial store in my house cleaning biz is that we have systems. we got templates uh, to help you. Um, you know, all you got to do is just invest a, a little, a little, a l invest a little bit in you and your business. And, uh, you know, uh, you'll be able to come, come through this on the other side just fine. So, you know, keep this stuff in mind. Um, you know, we have to continue to, to move on, you know, be proactive. Uh, don't be uh, getting all down in the dumps and complaining about how bad things are because that does us no good. Let's think about the opportunities and think positively and how we're going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, come out this on the other side uh, even stronger than we are now. So invest in yourselves, invest in your business, and uh, until next time, I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. And uh, if you got anything from this video, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button, and uh, you'll find hundreds and hundreds of uh, videos on how to build a successful cleaning business. So, till next time, see ya.